Well, see, that's what I'm doing. I already have a green energy solution using algae grown from sewage and making tanks that are solar powered to 24 seven generate unlimited amounts of light required for maximizing photosynthesis and using the solar power to aerate with atmospheric air to maximize the cross-sectional area for gas transfer, you know, using sewage as a uh, fertilizer source to purify the water clean at the beaches and use the algae to make sugar from carbon dioxide and produce oxygen and the carbohydrates are fermented to make unlimited alcohol. And the alcohol is now used to power all cars and generate electricity with alcohol turbines that replace the burners in coal. Power plants overnight, boom. Green energy, free and unlimited for everybody. I have an alarm system for school and alivings. It's a triangulating Sound system, microphones overhead, three of them in a room, one vertical axis, one as well, locates the sound of muzzle fire. Strobe lights that are hemispherical and have directional strobes that can actually fire strobe, blinding the person, wide angle lenses, artificial intelligence that will literally zero in on the perpetrator and be able to see when the lights shut off and the strobes activate, audio beacon for evacuation, school lockdowns for other rooms, and eyewear that works within the dark strobing environment with an application that would be on an iPad for all first responders to get real-time data, including eyes on the ground, how many shots fired, what rooms are locked down, and the fastest map to get to this area, including the best access points non-lethal ammunition, closets with air compressors that maintain a charge on paintball guns filled with capsaicin for non-lethal ammunition. And the security center at the school can have a security personnel that can watch people and activate the alarm to put the school on lockdown and make sure the children are safe. And this can go into any building, including homes and cars that can use the same strobes to disable perpetrators that break in. So we got that. I've got green energy, non-planned obsolescence, open source electric vehicle designs with cartridge style battery packs where you can be driving to Vegas knowing how much your range is, but you can have a map that shows all the recharge stations that keep cartridges charging and select which one you want and see how much that'll cost you on your monthly bill because the parent company makes green energy from solar charging batteries subsidizing the cost to reduce the cost of a vehicle that is simplified dramatically to reduce the cost and make it not require any maintenance nearly whatsoever and so i've got this open source modularized car design that you can buy the baseline car and the body panels are composite and anybody can make them online and you can remove segments of the car that's a chromoly tubular design that passes all safety assessments, but mitigates the cost of damage. But the car will only go the speed limit and the energy usage of the car will be calculated based on the percentage of energy consumption that goes to the occupant mass of the vehicle. You could actually have the car understand the weight of the people within it and tell you its relative efficiency in terms of how much energy is being used to actually relocate people, transforming the model in which we rate efficiency from just miles per gallon, where vehicles that weigh six, 7,000 pounds use 99% of the energy driving around this billboard of planned obsolescence, gluttony, and greed that's planned to break down as soon as the warranty expires. And so Planned obsolescence, in my view, is a thing of the past. And so I'm not here a victim waiting for Congress. I'm unlocking minds and imagination so people can stop being crybaby victims and start doing something. It wasn't for these narcissists sabotaging me as I invent these various things, like the oiling system that's in my car that solves the riddle of rapeseed oil because rapeseed oil has a problem with the viscosity It changes dramatically as a function of temperature. And so if I increase the bearing clearances in the engine, 
Now I can use pulse width modulated external pumps to allow the increased bearing clearances to accommodate thicker oil at operating temperatures in cold weather, and then increase the volume of the oil based on pulse width modulation with external oiling pumps that work in tandem with the mechanical pumps traditionally found. And then with the Tesla AC compressor that I'm running in my ice box here, 2000 horsepower car, I can make ice water that can now help me run fluid heat extraction to reduce the temperature of the oil below the threshold that causes oxidation. So I can put vegetable oil in a 2000 horsepower car. Actually, here's the oil pump I was talking about. And so when I look at my 2000 horsepower car with its cooling system and oiling system, I could run it on the green energy like I already do. So I got my cars on flex fuel sensors so I can use corn fuel. But the algae fuel is much cheaper because the biomass of algae, do you know that a swimming pool of algae is about 72 square kilometers of photosynthetic transfer? You know, if I look at the surface area, 72 square kilometers worth of leaves is what swim one swimming pool does. We can be making oxygen so much, we can solve global warming overnight. And so unlimited green energy for everyone. And then I can drive, drive my 2000 horsepower car around like that. So when it comes to solving problems, that's what I do. And so I'm just inviting people to stop being victims. And so when you wanna challenge me, you might wanna think about that because I'm not going to go with the people-pleasing victim mentality of people. When I've been a stand for humanity and I've been trying to build a business to demonstrate a thought process of unlimited creative potential that does not have a relationship to what's already in existence as a competition to be the best, but what the earth needs now. So if I can make a 2000 horsepower car produce water and carbon dioxide out of the tailpipe and run vegetable oil in the crankcase. Huh. So I've been thinking about these things and that's why when narcissists came and sabotaged me, you know, I came here to give back something to humanity, a piece of my mind that can open up and unlock people like me that'll stand up to the cowards and the fear and say enough is enough. Greed, being confused, walking around as victims, you know, no, ain't gonna work no more. The world of the people pleaser and the narcissist, that's done. The world of the human being is what's next.